In their lifetime is about power, because poverty is an issue of power. It's also about innovation. It's about finding new, sustainable ways of redressing systemic imbalances of power so that the most marginalised men, women and children can come out of poverty for good and so that in turn thousands more across the world can do the same. Over the past year, through your support, we've done this in 13 countries across the world directly impacting the lives of over 120,000 people. And we've done this where the power imbalance is at its greatest where communities live under the constant threat of violence, where people are forced to sell what they produce for less than what they can live on, and where women and girls are forced to the margins of society. But it's also here where ITL is proving the greatest opportunities lie. We're finding new ways of tackling violence and building peace. In Colombia's most dangerous city, Buenaventura, the use of humanitarian spaces is proving to be a potent weapon against the threat of gang violence. Part of the innovation of the humanitarian space is securing national and international press coverage, sustaining its high profile. This in turn acts as a deterrent to potential perpetrators of violence knowing that any incident would quickly get the attention of the authorities. It's this innovation which has seen the number of murders in Puente Nayero, which had previously been a common occurrence, reduced to zero since the space was established. Secondly, we're finding new ways through inclusive markets of enabling poor and marginalised farmers to take advantage of significant commercial opportunities. Amongst the sandy acidic soils of northern Bangladesh, for the first time smallholder farmers are growing tea on otherwise fallow land. The market opportunity for tea is significant. Sales of tea in the country are growing at an average of 14% every year, while production is growing at just 3%. By providing farmers with tea saplings, educating them on agricultural techniques and connecting them with buyers, Farmers have seen their incomes rise by 16%. And finally, we're finding new ways of not just protecting women and girls, but empowering them to take an active role in transforming the societies in which they live. In Sierra Leone, this week's elections represent an historic opportunity for a generation of female leaders to help shape the future of the country. As it stands, just 13% of MPs in the country are women, and only 19% are local councillors. But through the ITL Power to Women project, more and more female leaders are emerging, and with increasing confidence. Then this web, then one Miriria aspirant, it come up from there. A record 88 women in Kono and Kaluhan districts will be standing in local and national elections. And a number of parties in Kaluhan districts have agreed to a minimum 30% of female candidates. These are just three examples of where, through your support, ITL is redressing power imbalances and innovating against the root causes of poverty. Thank you for making this possible.